to graph in WebAssign, you first need to choose what object you want to graph. You can graph a line, a circle, a parabola, or a single point. Let's start by graphing a single point. Let's say you wanted to graph at the spot 3, 4. You can just move your mouse to 3, 4, and you'll see it highlighted. Click your mouse, and a point will show up. Now, if you messed up, you can re-click the point, and then click with your mouse, hold it down and just drag to where you want to move the point. Another option is to come down here and type in the coordinates. So if that was supposed to be a positive 2 instead of a negative 2, I can just type it down there and the point moves. If you want to graph a point at a decimal, you have to type it in. There's no way to move the point to a decimal. It always jumps straight to the whole numbers. So if I want to graph this point at 2.5, 4.5, I need to come down here and type it in. Now, if I accidentally graphed a point and I wanted to graph a line, don't leave that point there and then graph the line. WebAssign will count it incorrect. Even if you draw the line perfectly, if there's something else on the graph that's not supposed to be there, it'll be counted wrong. So whenever you graph something, if it's not supposed to be there, either click on it and hit delete or you can always start completely over by hitting clear all and it clears the entire chart. Now to graph a line like I just did quickly you have to select two points so click where the first point is and then click where a second point on the graph is. Again if you messed up you can click and hold down and drag or you can come down here and type in the coordinates you want And you see how this square is referencing the square point, and this circle is referencing the circle point. So when you adjust down here, you're adjusting the corresponding point. Now, if I wanted to draw a circle, let me get rid of that line. A circle, you start with clicking the center, and then you pick one other point, which will determine the radius, and then you can the whole circle will show up. Again, you can adjust those values down here. For parabola, you start by selecting the vertex, and then one other point that determines the parabola. Again, you can adjust. Now, with all these objects, you'll notice that you can choose to make it solid or dashed by selecting the correct option over here. If ever you're faced with a problem that ends up having no solution, select the No Solution button, and uh, that will be the answer. A couple other options here. If you want to draw a sideways parabola, see this arrow, click on that, and you'll be able to draw a parabola that opens up sideways. If instead of a line you want to draw a ray or just a line segment, select the correct option from this arrow. And if you want to learn more about graphing and read about it, you can go into Web Assigned Student Help under Questions, Graphing. There's a nice little document all about the graphing tool. And it walks through it and discusses each of the features in the tool.